What's the deal? What's good? <laughs> Are you out in the elements right now? Yeah, I'm in the snow. I'm somewhere in the mountains and shit, chilling. Bob. That's new. Okay, where are you? I'm in I'm in um Aspen actually. Oh, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, um h- how's everything been? You know, it's been it's been a wild couple months for you. Everything is really going up. Man, life has been great. Music is going absolutely amazing. There's nothing going the way that I don't want it to go. You know what I'm saying? It's just everything that I envision, you know. I envision me getting two gold records. I envision me being on double XL, you know what I mean? So it's like, I feel like this year is going to be my year, and I feel like everybody's going to tap in and tune in with me. So I'm just excited for the rest of the year. Uh, when you, so like when you say, you know, you always, things are going how you always expect it to go, you already had these things you envisioned for it, like kind of, when did you realize that you were going in that direction? Like, you know, come like post YouTube, like you coming from YouTube and going into music. When did you kind of think, okay, I'm really going somewhere. This is really starting to move. I mean, I, I knew it was going when I when I, I dropped like a song with Famous Dex. That was like the first song I dropped. Mm-hmm. And that um that went up. It's called Lettuce. And it went pretty viral. World Star picked it up and then everybody started rocking with me a little bit then and then I kinda like kinda like sagged off a little bit, you know what I mean, focused on getting a bag and all that and then I, I really locked in, especially like two thousand nineteen and and uh two thousand twenty. Mm-hmm. And when you like when you locked in, right, and decided, okay, this is what I'm gonna do, like like what kind of kept you committed? Because, you know, like just talking about in a general sense, like with anyone else, if you're already successful in a thing and you've made all this money off of it, it's hard for them to stay committed to like a whole other world, but you didn't you took the music thing seriously and kinda didn't give up on it. So like what yeah, no, it, it's not a it's not about the money for me at all. Mm-hmm. When it comes to like doing music or anything like that, like not to be like I'm not a cocky person or nothing like that, but I've been I've been getting a lot of money since I was like 18. So I'm 23 now. So I do music just because I love it, and I feel like you know I want to build a legacy in it. So I always wanted to do it. I just never took a shot at it until now. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, and like kind of the music that you're making now and the point that you got to, like how how did you develop like your current style? How did you get to this point? Was it like you put Man. a lot of time in the studio? What was it? Now, I really, to be honest, I be switching it up, bro. Like, I used to write. When I first started, I used to write. I used to kick the engineer out. I couldn't record. Now, I freestyle everything. Like, the pat, like this project I'm finna draw with OG Parker is mostly freestyles. You know what I mean? Like, a pen is not used. So, it's like, I'm, I'm getting a lot more comfortable in the booth. You know, I'm expanding my thoughts and, you know, just trying to make different types of music rather than stick to the same type of thing. Right. Right. And... Okay. So go ahead. No, 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 go ahead. Man. Okay. So like when you were talking about, you know, you started, you, you started off, you started off writing because, right. That's what everybody thinks. Like you're trying to be a rapper. You, you see it as I got to start writing the bars. That's how I get into it. So no, nah, it, it wasn't even that. It was just like, you know, I didn't know how to freestyle that. Good. <laughs> but I mean, I was freestyling like on YouTube, just making like, before I got into the music, I was doing like diss tracks on YouTube and they was hitting 10, 15 million. I know you dissed you dis- Yachty, right? <laughs> yeah, that's my homie now though. But we, been, right. but I was doing like diss tracks and all types of stuff, and 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 people were been rocking with it. I just decided to really take the music on. But that's back in 2017. I was doing that. Mm-hmm. I just, you know, I stopped all that. I just been focusing on making good music. Right. So, and this happened like minutes ago. The press release just went out. Move off in the Calabasas, gold plaque. You know, congratulations. Appreciate um, it. Man. For sure. And also, and it, like you said, two gold plaques is your second. Arguments was the first. Yeah. Um, and both of those came, like, Arguments was April, and this is not that far after. So it's it's all rolling together fast. It's coming quick. And also, Arguments is a full-blown R&B song. I'm right. singing there. You know what I mean? So it's like, it's just showing versatility. I got a gold record as a rapping, and I got a gold record singing. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So it's, I'm just creating the foundation for longevity. Right. And, yes. and with, I wanted to ask about with like, with like arguments how it is an R and B song, and you know we walk into Calabasas, a totally different song from that. Are you still like like with the upcoming project? Are you still thinking about make, making making R and B stuff because it worked before, even though yeah. it's now totally different? Yeah, bro. I think if I only did R and B, I think my songs would hit even harder because it's mm-hmm. like I feel like R and B is such a it's it's such a vacant genre. Everybody mm-hmm. raps. 
You know what right. I mean? I feel like when R and B, if somebody's doing crossover and they're doing R and B and rap, it's easy to bring those rap fans over to the R and B. You know what right. I mean? But you don't see too many R and B artists rapping. You know what right. I mean? So I feel like I feel like I'm I'm definitely gonna keep doing the singing. It's coming up on this project. Right, right. So just going back to me walking to Calabasas for a second. So three versions of the song, the solo, the one with YG, the one with Blueface, right? Kind of how did you figure out, okay, I want to do different versions of it with different rappers, and then kind of why do you feel like the Blueface one is the one that just went through the roof? I mean, Blueface just went off. You know, he, just he did. Went, yeah, he went off. He, he was great. So it was like, it was just a great verse. It tied in perfectly. He came in twice, so it wasn't like just a little drop-off verse and that's it. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? It was a nice placement in it. And um, that was his idea, too. He was like, because I was going to change my verse on that, actually. I was going to change my verse on Moonwalking. He was like, nah, you should just keep the same thing. Because he did, you know, he did the same thing with Tatiana. So that right. was the whole thing behind it. I'm like, people do this now. Like, they, they remix the same song over and over. And also, it counts towards the same consumption. So it's right. like, it's just a, it's just being smart. You know what I mean? So right. I just knew that it would go. So, you know, I, I, you know, I might not be done. It might not be done. It might be Moonwalker Part Five coming real soon. <laughs> um, and and you no, know, and you know, like I said before, how it was different from arguments, and like kind of different from even like other songs that weren't arguments. Kind of, how did you get in the mindset to make that? And like, did it feel like, oh, this is different from what I was doing before, and this is gonna go? Some my arguments or or Moonwalk? No, Moonwalk. Like when you were making it, did you know, oh, this is gonna go? Yeah, but I mean, I always when I listen to. When I'm in the car, I rarely listen to other artists. I mostly listen to myself because I've been making a lot of music and I be trying to see if I get bored of my own music. So I listen to my own songs in the car over and over and over again. And Moonwalking was just one of those that I never got bored of. Mm-hmm. So I was like, okay, let me go ahead and put this out. I put it out. I just dished it out, didn't tell nobody, you know, you know what I'm saying? I dished it out, didn't tell nobody. And it did what it did. It did pretty good. As the original, got a million in a day, all that, all that. Well, whoop. And then Blueface hit me up. He's like, hop on the remix. Let me hop on the remix. And I'm like, bet. Because my valedictorian project, I ain't really working on other artists like that. You know, mm-hmm. so, so, like, really, like, yeah, that was about it. So Blueface hit me up. He hopped on that motherfucker. And then from that point forward, I knew that bitch was going to go. I knew it was going to go. It was just like, is it too good to be true? Like, is this really going to come out? Is it going to be some legal issues, blah, 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 right. You know what I mean? All that stuff was running through my head. But I just went with the flow and it went perfect. Right. Um, so your your IG like is crazy. The engagement is nuts, which you know is to be expected. How do you deal with fans pressing you about like new releases and stuff like that? Because I'm sure they're killing you over this all the time. <laughs> no, I, I, I love it. I uh-huh. love it. Cause it used to be drop a blog. You know right. what I mean? <laughs> now it's like Nigga, where the album at? You know what I mean? So I'm like, yeah, I like that. Right. Yeah, I did that video shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> but I love YouTube, man. I never shoot down YouTube. I love YouTube from the bottom of my heart. I'm going to always do it, but I'm a, you know, I'm just really focused on music right now. I don't know when I'm going to get back into it or whatever, but when I get to that arena stage in my life and, and my career, I want to, you know, hop back on the camera here and there. Right. No, and I mean, and that's real, too. I think, like, I respect that, that you... Like, you're not weird about the YouTube stuff. You don't act like it didn't happen. Like, you just say, yo, I was, yes, I was doing YouTube. This is what I did, right? <laughs> nah, I, I didn't make so much, so much chicken. YouTube changed my life. <laughs> YouTube just changed my life, man. I love YouTube. I don't get it up. But, you know, I just, you know, I got different passions and aspirations. So I'm just trying to, you right. know. Right. Type, yeah. But it's, it's a talent that feeds you know, right into being an artist, too, because, you know, now being a, a rapper, being an artist, especially a rapper, so much of it is you being online and, like, stuff like that and putting videos together and being good on camera. And you don't have to worry about that. You can just rap because you've done, you did all the other stuff. You know how YouTube works. Yeah, like, when it comes to, like, media, I didn't need media training. Mm-hmm. Like, I, didn't need, I didn't need any of that. Like, I upload my own music videos. Like, I don't need nobody to help me with nothing you know what i mean when it comes to anything tech technology anything with social media like i'm a guru you know what mm-hmm. i mean so i used to do that matter of fact this is off topic but i i did like a i started like a only fans teaching people how to do youtube 
when did you do when did you start i did that shit like four months ago just to see how it would go mm -hmm. i made six figures in like two days <laughs> yeah, right because people because that's because people believe my because right. i didn't did it you know what i mean right. i know how to blow people up i know how to grow people so growing myself is the easiest part right um speaking of growing yourself is there something that you want to do outside of music and youtube like something else you want to get involved in yeah i feel like after i after i become uh the biggest artist in the world i'm gonna uh get into acting mm -hmm. that was my first dream job but i i ain't really follow through with it i i feel like have have people like have companies and people been reaching out to you about acting already i think that's gotta already been happening right yeah, but it's like I'm I'm I don't want to get sidetracked. You know, acting a full time job, you don't set right. all types of stuff. So it's like I'm I'm a busy man already as an artist. So it's like right. I ain't really got the time to be an actor right now. Right, you want right? It makes sense. You wanna you don't want to do it until you really have the time to fully put yourself in there. Right. Yeah, it makes sense. Um, yes, another thing I noticed too is like with you and the music that you're putting out, especially over through 2020, you're just putting out like song it's just one song one song one song it's not like a bunch of mixtapes and stuff like that kind of where is that strategy coming from where you don't mind just putting a song out and then moving on and putting another song out in a couple of months and just kind of riding off of that i think it's way less stressful because when i was doing it i was doing it i was just th throwing songs out. i wasn't telling my, my people my label <laughs> hey, they, so they got mad at me but i feel like you know it's it, it helped you know what i mean it's like i know when it's time to drop music mm-hmm Right. Yeah, so it's like dropping singles is way less stressful as me dropping it independently and 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 backing it up on my own because right. I can focus on one song versus a whole tape or something like that. But man, I'm telling you right now, bro, this tape that I'm finna drop is finna change the game. All right, so I saw you say on Instagram that it's coming soon, and that could mean like days or it could mean weeks <laughs> wait say that again my bad my bad Somebody yeah. me. you said on instagram that the tape is coming soon and that could mean days or that could mean weeks of course i don't expect you to you know pick one or the other now but what can you share about the tape about the tape it's gonna be i i work with a lot of artists like i've been working with artists like i haven't been and people that been watching me on youtube they know that you know i'll be vlogging everything mm -hmm. they ain't seen me post a video in months Right. I've been in rooms with people that, you know, that they're going to be excited to see me working with and also just me elevating and, and, and trying this new style, freestyling. Like, it's a lot of it's great vibes on there. Like, it's going to go. Um, all right. So th they're asking, of course, they're asking in the comments with who and who's on there. I know you're not going to share anything. <laughs> what 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 secret thing will you share that you probably shouldn't share? Right, man, look, I do a deal with you. I'm going to do a deal with you. Put me on that list, man. I tell you, everybody that's on that motherfucker. Man. I knew that was coming. <laughs> I, I knew tell you, everybody. Matter of fact, nigga, I see you the master files. Put me on the list. <laughs> but no, I got features. I, I, I announced a few of them. Like, I got 42 on there. Mm -hmm. 42 Doug. That's a hit. But I don't really want to keep telling people the features on there because it's sure. like, I don't even want people to be too antsy. I just want people to just see it and be like, wow, I got to tune in. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. No, that's real. Um, yeah. So I saw, speaking of, so speaking of work with other people, right, um, Tony Montana, DJ Kid, kind of how are you, like, how are you, like, teaming up with people and, like, kind of getting in the mix with artists and stuff like that? Like, how are you building these relationships? I mean, it's really just, I feel like people just already fuck with me off the jump. I'm a mm -hmm. genuine nigga. I don't need no money from nobody. I don't need nobody for shit. You know what I mean? So it's like, if I hit you up where I'm I'm trying to kick it with you is because I feel like, you know, I feel like I should be surrounded by other successful people. You know what I mean? And I feel like I admire, especially young black people that's, you know, working and, and, and making a lot of money. And you know what I mean? Like, that's people I want to hang around. You know what I mean? So I just come around and I just be myself and people just, you know, fuck with me. So it's like, that's really how I just make connections and I just really got out of my shell. I usually be shy, all this other shit. But like now I feel like I'm in the same lane as these niggas. So it's not really no it's not like mm -hmm. no type of like I can't reach I can't reach a certain nigga or I can't talk to a certain person in a certain type of way. It's like 
nigga, I could benefit you like you could benefit me. So it's a way it's way easier for me to make connections now. Oh, and when you say that you were like shy, you just mean like with like artists that were really big at the time and you were just getting into rap. Yeah, now? yeah, not necessarily shy, but like just like not feeling as confident enough or not. And you know, you reach out too early, you probably get right. cast a hundred bands. You know what I mean? <laughs> but if you, you know, you build relationships, you you build your own catalog, and you and you bring something to the table. Motherfuckers don't even want to charge you. You know what right. I mean? Like I didn't got a lot of free features and shit like that. It's really just about you being good yourself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, kind of. How did you? like find out that you could be you know you're talking about your versatility before kind of how did you find like yo i can rap i can sing i can do all of these things did you, how did you like to stumble upon that really i take it i ain't gonna cap man like i look at i look at a lot of artists and and i see a lot of rappers and i feel like a lot of rappers be doing like the same sound i just feel like especially like for for instance drake is winning for the for the simple fact that he's making pop music reggae music Mm-hmm. He's making rap music, all types of different music that's across the world. And that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to be global, you know what I mean? So. Right. And, but, right. and what's crazy is, like, what's, like, really funny about the Drake thing is, like, as big as he is, he's huge. But, like, you said people try to make the same sound. So many people try to emulate him, which, like, that would, that's never going to work. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, you got to be your own artist. I just take inspiration from niggas. I don't really look at people and be like, I want to sound like him. Right. It's just like, oh, that worked for him? Right. Let me see if it worked for me. You know what I mean? Not necessarily stealing somebody's shit, but like right. just taking inspiration and seeing what works. Right. Because you can take right, you can take things from their path and be like, if I do this in a different way, it can work for me. Right. That's the better way of doing it. Yeah, it's like, like, you know, to make his music. Just think about it, like people, you know, people are shaping a whole different sound in rap right now, and people is just following the wave. They're not necessarily copying; it's just mm-hmm. they just making up their own sound with the new wave. Right, right. Um, speaking of, you know, kind of how well things have been going for you now, like once you, once the music started really rolling, and I mean, realistically, people knew who you were off of the YouTube. You're already popular off of that, but once you, once the music started really rolling kind of what was changing for you like in like your life like how were like were people interacting with you differently well you too no well um, once you got hot with music were people treating you differently were things changing around you oh uh, well how, yeah definitely it's a whole different conversation with me now you know like it's just a big shift and i just feel like that's just for me being consistent but yeah it's definitely different from when i was just doing youtube and shit like that right right um with other artists has any of them given you good advice? And if so, what was it? Yeah, one advice that I took from an artist, I did the Run It Up music video. It was featuring YB and Demir, Black Youngster, and G Herbo. And that was my first time meeting Herbo. And he had, I was talking to him, you know, I'm, I'm a new artist. I just got signed and shit. I was asking him little questions and shit. He was like, man, just don't take this shit as, don't take shit personal. It's really business. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I, I mean, I didn't run into so many fake people already, and it's like that was like the best, most realest advice that I got because it's you know I'm 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 experiencing it. Right, right. Um, so everybody knows about you. You're famous. You got all this stuff going on. But when you're just you, when you're like just a regular dude, what are you doing for fun? Like, how are you? How are you chilling? How are you relaxing? I ain't gonna cap, man. I just be with my girl chilling. I don't really be doing too much. I be out the way like a motherfucker. I don't. It ain't really too much for me to do. Right. For real. Like right now, I mean, I'm in the snow. <laughs> you know, I'm in the mountains, man. No cap. I'm in the mountain mountains. Yeah, I'm somewhere ten thousand feet in the air right now. So I be trying to do stuff like that. Right. Right. But you um, know, the pandemic fucking everything up. So. Right. Exactly. So if right, if you didn't have to pandemic wasn't the thing you didn't have to worry about that what do you think you would be doing or what do you what would you want to do wait say that one more time my bad yeah if there was no if you didn't have to worry about the pandemic what would you what would you want to do right now like bro i'm like i like traveling that's i I love traveling i know i love seeing new shit so you know if the pandemic wasn't going on i would want to be somewhere across the world Mm-hmm. or some shit like I'm trying to see stuff like that so I really just want to focus on traveling while I'm young right, right. Um, alright so before we wrap it up is there like 
looking at your career and you know you have the two plaques now like wh what do you want to see from yourself in 2021 like where do you, where do you want to go with it this year 2021 man i'm trying to have a a very 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 strong year i'm trying to go into 2022 as one of the top artists mm -hmm. so that's my goal so i'm i'm really just locked in straightforward this tape going to drop this shit going to hit I'm believing in myself and I'm just speaking everything into existence. And I, you know, I'm, I'm speaking this list into existence too. So 21, I, I think that's going to happen too. So, you know, I know somebody watching this over there at the editorial desk. <laughs> I can write my name on that one. Man, look, look, bro. I want to tell you, it, I want to say this. Do you know how many people I had go vote? On that website, bro? And I still went on that bitch. Listen, in, yo, I'm gonna tell you I ain't right playing now. with y'all this year, bro. I'm not. Everybody listen, man. in the comments, everybody in the comments is here. That's all they're typing. They're just saying, "Yo, yo, put him on the cover." Yo, we that's what I'm saying, bro. Like, so I respect the pitch. I totally, I respect it. They need, bro. Listen, I'm telling you, bro. No cap. Put me on that bitch. I'm gonna have a little freestyle on that motherfucker. No disrespect to any other artist. I'm telling you. Watch the numbers, bro. That's all I'm saying, man. Y'all playing with me, but y'all ain't going to play with me this year. I know why we don't lie. I'm going to go ahead. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm expecting the email later. That's all. I'm going to be expecting that. You know, a little couple calls and shit. I'm going to play dumb for now, though. And I'm also like, it's also it's funny you said the editorial desk. Like, I'm pretty sure the whole staff is watching this right now. I'm sure everybody's. Yeah, man. They need to write DDGN, three letters. The easiest one to spell. Fuck. You definitely have to support it here. Like, this, like your fans are not, they're not going to rest. So, you know, for sure. Yeah, but, man. I fuck with Double XL, though, man. I've been, I've been watching, I've been checking out y'all magazines and who on the list since 20, since August Alcino was on that motherfucker. So, oh, I've been, yeah, I've been checking, <laughs> yeah, I've been, I've been checking y'all shit out for a minute. So, I really just admire the whole movement. I fuck with it. Right, for sure. Well, thank you for doing this, man. I appreciate it. Um, you know, have fun. Enjoy Aspen. Hell yeah, man. Appreciate you. For sure. All right, man. Thank you. All right, bro.